Where to now? Hey, you came. That was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Oh, as for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the Underworld. <laughs> You're about to come face to face with reality. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. I heard that the miners had been having violent clashes with local thugs, with significant numbers of wounded. I hurried over here to see if I could help. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people.
Giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Hmm. Falling asleep in a place like this, impressive. Hey! Wakey, wakey! You'll get mushrooms growing on your head! Hmm? What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter! Take shelter? I remember now! These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago. And they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, Good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the Great Mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The inner section of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the inner section. <sighs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Farag's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. 
Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots? Aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? You idiot, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa! What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep. Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Interastral Peace Corporation? That's great. Beep, beep, beep. Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63, professional model, annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an interastral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an interastral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This fella's already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy. That's me! happening.
cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgraceful. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparog's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Oh, Zila. Thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can command robots? No, I I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. <sighs> Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look.
it's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pen connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? Spindy can help? How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Bindy can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Uh, let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set. Confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item. Minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep. Item found. Please commence search according to the home use object finder safety manual. Create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has... Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hung gets lost, we can just use Findy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy complete beep beep potential target object detected. The current search hub. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep beep beep. It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep beep beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long, but that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. Alright, mission accomplished! Hmm, <laughs> quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives. But you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart!
The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go carefully. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop, stop, stop! There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go! A delicate? <laughs> A delicate operation. If there's medicine, it'll come in handy. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. This vein... So, this is what everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much Geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the more in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparg. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the Underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Svarag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to Wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the Underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. <sighs> this again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Svarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the Underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of Wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The Furnace Core Hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come!
Come at me! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Great! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Move carefully. My turn. Take this. Rules are made to be broken. Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst of watch this! Let's make it quick. Naughty children, you're in bad shape. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death with this sanctuary is but a vision! <laughs> Time to savor the vigor of hiding a lot which is why wildfire has never been able to take him down Svarag's forces are too strong we don't have enough firepower Clara don't worry about her that girl is best pals with Svarag she's always following behind him he wouldn't harm her I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't 
know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. 